you can explore more of your favourite CBB shows on BBC iPlayer. <laughs> um, hi, Ron. I'm Lars. Big fan of yours. Great to meet you, too. Zuli tells me you're a pretty good engineer yourself. Meet the Deep Sea Challenger. All set for you to take it right to the bottom of the ocean. Cool camera! Can you take some pictures of sea creatures for me? Sure thing! I wonder what I'll find down there. <laughs> well, Lars, let me take you on a disco dive with some funky facts. Hit it! Funky facts! Funky facts! Let me tell you about the place we're at. Today, you're diving nearly 11,000 meters to the bottom of the deepest trench in all the oceans, the Mariana Trench. It's so deep that even the highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest, could easily fit inside. The trench gets very, very dark and is home to many unusual creatures, including the Mariana snailfish. The deeper underwater you go, the heavier water feels, pushing down on everything more and more. The Deep Sea Challenger submersible is built extra strong, so it won't get squashed by this powerful water pressure. You're sure it's strong? I don't want to be squashed. Relax, Lars. The Deep Sea Challenger is tougher than a truckster, and no matter how deep you go, I'll be with you all the way. And so will my grim sub. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you might just break my record. Uberkorn's record has to be beaten one day. You could have really hurt yourself there, Zuli. Less showing off and you might beat my time. Sorry, Uberkorn. It's just everyone really likes my tricks. Well, that sea arch doesn't. It's much too fragile. Let me tell you why. Hit it! <laughs> the Academy is where it's at. of the wind and sea can cause rocks on our coastlines to get worn down and change shape. This is called erosion. Rocks sticking out into the sea are called a headland. Strong waves can erode a headland and make a cave. Over time, the cave can open right through to the other side and make a sea arch. Waves and wind will keep wearing the arch away until the roof falls down. You don't want to be close by when this happens. Rocks crash down until there's only a sea stack left. Whoa! Sea arches are dangerous. Me and the rooster were lucky. Very, very windy. Perfect! <laughs> Pay attention, my Grimbot cadets. Today's lesson is all about... Wind power! <laughs> oh, this is going to be much better than any of those no jetter lessons. Soon, cadets from all over the island will come and join the Grim Academy. <laughs> it's not just a field, this is the Grim Kite Flight Arena. Behold! <laughs> Hold this and wait for my signal. Three, two, one. Throw it. Oh, 
See how strong and powerful wind can be? Luckily, it's never too strong for the Grandmaster! <laughs> <laughs> You were in there, didn't I? Just Professor Glitch playing around. <laughs> Not playing now! <laughs> Listen up, Gojetas. The all new Geo Flow is all about turning wind power into click on power. Get it right inside the Geodome, and then you can try it outside. Wahoo! I'm ready, I'm steady, I'm... See you, silly. Bots. Okay, Glitch. Food waste in here turns to biogas here, filling your boosters here. Ooh. Oh. Yes, marvelous. Excellent. Oh, we're going to be faster than the Broomster. Creebots, <coughs> more leftovers, please. <coughs> mm. oh. Hey! Oh. <laughs> My Krimbler's full! I'm ready for launch! Whoa, Glitch! Too much gas! No, don't be such a whoa, Cheddar! These boosters are fine! <laughs> Something. Or someone. You got it, team. Truckster, let's roll. Launching Truckster in three, two, one. Seatbelts. Go! Go, 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 go Water mode, go. Grimbler up ahead, go jetters. Stay on its tail. You got it, Ubercorn. Grimbler! No! Extinct! Extinct! Whoa! Cayenne, what's up? I can't believe the dodo is extinct. There are none left in the world at all. Not even one. Hey, what's all the noise, go jetters? The dodo is extinct, and we never got to see one. It's sad news, Gojetters, and more animals could become extinct, too. Huh? There are lots of different animals around the world that need help to survive because there are hardly any of them left. The Sumatran tiger, the giant panda, the mountain gorilla, the North Atlantic right whale. So many different animals. Uh, but why? Mostly, it's because where they live becomes damaged or changed so much that it's hard for them to survive. <sighs> but there are people who work really hard to look after animals and their environment, like the conservationists in the pristine forests of Sao Paulo, Brazil. What animal are they helping? The black lion tamarind. We can pay them a visit. Then you can all see what's being done to stop the black lion tamarind from becoming extinct. Yeah! Yeah. Did you hear that, Grimbots? Black lions that need our help. 
Well, why do I always have to explain everything? I, the great Grandmaster Glitch, will save these black lion thingies. Well, don't you stand there? Take me to the pristine forest of Sao Paulo. <laughs> what does pristine mean? Well, uh, pristine means... Oh, yes. Right. Mm. Pristine means clean. Ugh, that sounds terrible. Uh, oh, well, nobody said being a lion saver would be easy. To Sao Paulo! Gribots, let's go! Do you love sea babies? Well, you can learn, sing and explore with all your favourite CBeebies friends like Number Blocks, Mr Tumble, Bluey, Jojo and Gran Gran and so much more. Why not ask your grown-up to download the BBC iPlayer app where you can watch all your favourite CBeebies friends anytime, any way you like.